Hello, today we will discuss angular momentum operators in spherical polar coordinates. So first we have to write position vector in spherical polar coordinates r sin theta cos phi i plus r sin theta sin phi j plus r cos theta k. And then find out three unit vectors e r, e theta and e phi. They are usual unit vectors del r del r divided by the magnitude of del r del r that gives sine theta cos phi i plus sine theta sine phi j plus cos theta k. Next we have e theta which is cos theta cos phi i plus cos theta sine phi j minus sine theta k and e phi is minus sine phi i plus cos phi j. And the scale factors h r h theta and h phi. h r is 1, h theta is r, h phi is r sin theta. And uh, the gradient usual definition e1 by h1 del del u1 plus e2 by h2 del del u2 plus e3 by h3 del del u3 which gives the gradient as e r del del r plus e theta by r del del theta plus e phi by r sin theta del del phi. And um, classical angular momentum is r cross p, but in quantum mechanics we have to replace them with operators. That becomes minus i h cross r cross grad, gradient. Then we substitute this gradient from here, that is 3. In equation 3, we substitute equation 2 and then isolate coefficients of i, j, k, which gives us Lx equal to i h cross sin phi del del theta plus cot theta phi del del phi for Lx. For Ly, we get minus i h cross cos phi del del theta minus cot theta sine phi del del phi for ly and for lz we get minus i h cross del del phi. But to write l square we have to square these operators. Squaring these operators means we have to operate them twice. So lx lx is uh, lx is sine phi del del theta plus cot theta cos phi del del phi and there is a minus h cross square. And um, so that will give four terms, four terms, first this will operate on this, then this will operate on this, then the second term will operate here, and second term will operate here. But this, when second term operates on the second term, we get two terms, because there is a del del phi, and there is cos phi del del phi. So Lx square finally becomes sin square phi del del theta square minus sin phi cos phi by sin square theta del del phi plus cot theta cos square phi del del theta minus cot square theta sin phi cos phi del del phi plus cot square theta cos square phi del square del phi square. And exactly in a similar way we can find Ly square that is Ly acting on Ly which will give minus h cross square cos square phi del square del theta square plus sin phi cos phi sin square theta del del phi plus cot theta sin square phi del del theta plus cot square theta sin phi cos phi del del phi plus cot square theta sin square phi del square del phi square. Where these two terms cancel, these two terms cancel and when we add L square, Lx square plus Ly square then we get a lot of simplification. Here is sin square phi plus cos square phi gives 1. Sin square phi plus cos square phi gives 1. And uh, del square del phi square, we get from here cot square del square del phi square because sin square phi plus cos square phi you get 1. And lz square gives minus h bar square del square del phi square. So finally 1 plus cot square theta del square del phi square.
Now these two terms can be written together as 1 by sin theta del del theta sin theta del del theta plus 1 by sin square theta del square del phi square. That means the L square operator now reads minus h bar square 1 by sin theta del del theta sin theta del del theta plus 1 by sin square theta del square del phi square. And I will also give this PDF in the description box so that you can check it for yourself. These expressions for LX square, LY square, LZ square and then sum them to get the expression for L square and also individual LX, LY, LZ. So I hope that this will be useful for you and uh, thank you for watching.